the middle get lowered down in the, in the middle of the V, if you like. Whilst getting inside is a big safety concern, the deadly gases that lurk below are an even bigger worry. As well as sulphur dioxide, there's the threat of carbon monoxide and hydrogen sulphide, all of which will kill. Dougal has completed the scan of the rim of the fissure and is ready to get down inside for the final part of the picture. But before Dougal is allowed in, expert rigger Mark Diggins must first test the rig and the gas levels. Mark is going where no man has gone before. As well as the risk of gas, there's the constant threat of another earth tremor. And that's before he gets to the bottom, wherever that turns out to be. With just two hours of sunlight left to get Dougal and his scanning equipment down, they can't afford the slightest hitch. Uh, stop there, guys. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, I just, that doesn't sound good. I mean, one of his, one of his meters yeah. are going off. Mark, is that one of your gas meters off? Yes, it is. It is. The alarm means there's deadly gas, but no one knows which one. I mean, there's a lot that could be going wrong down there. Wait, I gotta focus for a sec. So that was the H2S alarm going off. So this is uh, hydrogen sulfide which is probably the one that's the most dangerous and the one that we didn't really want to be seeing on this. Hydrogen sulphide can kill with just one breath. If Mark's breathing apparatus had failed or his face mask slipped, the fissure would have claimed its first human victim. Pretty much they say the last thing you'll ever smell is the smell of rotten eggs, which is H2S and it's enough to kill you. This is a once in a lifetime chance to create a unique scientific record but at what risk? You'll only get one crack at it, and if, if that BA equipment packs up whilst you're on a rope, you're not going to be getting out of it. We've, we've taken the right precautions and made the right measurements to, to ascertain that it's not a particularly nice place down there. And so um, I don't think we should, uh, we should pursue going in there any further. This is a massive disappointment for Dougal. His only hope now is that he can salvage something from the scans around the edge of the fissure. Hey, come and have a look at this. We've just got the first scans up. I mean, it's raw data oh at the moment, God. but... Um, so, I mean, if this scan's worked, hopefully the other two have worked, and we'll basically be able to stitch all three together. I was worried for a, a few minutes there that we wouldn't it get anything today. It was such a rush. Today, it was such uh, a rush. I mean, no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you guys. This is good. Results, Steve. Oh, good Despite having to abandon the final descent, the scans from the edge have produced an almost complete 3D snapshot of the earthquake fissure. The first ever. Armed with this first baseline model, the rate the Horn of Africa is separating from the continent can now be plotted. But Dougal is not content with just one geological first. He has an even bigger target in his sights, a vast lava lake called Erta Ale, which Dougal believes will prove how incredibly thin the Earth's crust here has already become. I feel a celebration. Yeah, on, let's, me too. Let's go and have a drink and drink to Urta Alla and, uh, and, the, and the future of the expedition. But if mapping a hole in the ground was tough, doing the same inside a live volcano is likely to push the team to breaking point. Next time on Hottest Place on Earth, while Steve tries to learn the local version of rugby... I didn't realise they'd got knives on their belt. My concern over the way the women are being treated comes to a head 
There's men everywhere just listening in. Don't you dare. Don't you dare give away our secrets. Mukul has to deal with a major medical emergency. He's got a very loud heart, ma'am. Oh, my God. I've held dying children, and it's a terrible, terrible thing. And we have to make some tough decisions about how far we go in helping the Afar people. Basically, take the child and the mother by force, but this really is a matter of life and death. And Dougal takes his team on a voyage into the unknown. Woo! Oh, no, this is just a huge. A daring assault on the oldest active volcano in the world. Smoke me a kipper, I'll be back for breakfast. All of us understood why the Afar think that this is the gateway to hell. And we're back in the hottest place on Earth at 10 o'clock on Thursday. Next this evening, continuing our new series on the fragile history of ceramics.